Good morning, Clay Thompson here at Vicious RV in Junction City, Oregon. Today I'm going to show you a brand new 2022 Mobile Suites Full House JX450. They make three floor plans in this uh, Full House model and this is my favorite if you're looking for something for long-term stay. Come on inside and I'll show you why I say that. Has a nice four step, solid step coming in. Keyless entry at the doorway. Power awning out the patio side here with the uh, LED light strip. Full paint. Nice heavy duty screen door with the vinyl plastic to keep the breeze from blowing in, but I wanna be able to see the daylight outside. Makes it nice. Good solid heavy duty screen door. Come on in. So the reason why I mentioned this as being my favorite uh, for the longer term stay is it does have the 10 by eight rear garage, but we get the full features of a full time living living room kitchen in this model with the dinette table that pulls out. There is an add a leaf, you know, comes out to about here, two more folding chairs, MCD roller uh, day and night shades, full bank of overhead cabinetry, plug-ins and USBs uh, uh, ports right there. Make this a desk area if you prefer. You got your theater seating here that's power, center console box, cup holders, uh, dual pane glass, heated insulated windows, wood box valances with the uh, backlighting in the valances and also backlighting in the pillars of the slides, I really like. Um, then we have the full garage. Again, like I say, we're 10 feet, basically by eight uh, uh, inside storage. We could use that for a garage, an office, haul our toys. Uh, we do have shelving inside. Uh, also have the patio outside. So we got another full eight foot patio deck out the back end. We got the three season uh, controlled wall on the back end that we can close. We can open the windows, let the breeze in, or just have the windows shut and be able to have the view out, but not having the breeze blow in. So all kinds of alternatives with this floor plan. You got the double bunk, or the lower one can come down and make into an opposing dinette with the table. The table can go outside on the patio, um, as well as moving chairs outside. So very, very versatile floor plan at your high-end luxury quality of the mobile suites. You'll notice the uh, imprint on the window, which keeps the glare from outside coming in if we're gonna sit in here and watch TV and want the patio uh, open. Uh, come on inside, I'll show you some more features of the inside area here. We got the big 55 inch TV that swings out, storage behind with the below sound bar. Uh, fireplace down below, drawer here, cabinets on each side. Fireplace is going to have the remote. We can turn it on. We can get heat. We can just use it for the ambiance of a fireplace. Again, overhead cabinetry, soft touch closed cabinetry with the heavy magnets. So it makes it real nice. As we come around to the kitchen, this is going to still get you a really nice kitchen. Um, if you consider it as the all-purpose, some people call them toy haulers. But this is going to have the biggest living room kitchen area in a full timeable toy hauler. Double countertops on each side of the stove, which is nice. A solid backsplash. Overhead cabinetry. Big microwave convection oven above that's residential style or size. Uh, Plug-ins on upsides of the counter area here. Um, big bank of drawers in the island as well as on both sides. All soft touch. You can look at the nice clear plywood that they use. It's not full of knots. You don't rub your finger on there and get splinters. Tons of storage underneath. 
the uh, big sink there with the uh, sink covers. Um, as we come around to this side, we have the big uh, pull out for the garbage can. And then drawers here, cabinets below. Nice big residential refrigerator. This is an insignia that's going to have the freezer below, water dispenser on the side here, again with its own water filter. This particular coach is going to have its own full house water filter. So our water coming through, our water here and the ice machine is going to be double filtered. This gives us a nice little, uh, you can call it a little nook there for your coffee bar with the light and plug-in, cabinetry there, overhead above, and then we have the, I guess you could call this the appliance garage over here, and or a large pantry with the pull-outs. And then we have the lower appliance garage here with a plug-in in the back, so if we want to put our coffee pot inside here, toaster, air fryer, whatever, um, makes a nice handy place for it. The drawers below. Then as we come upstairs here, right before the stairway entry, we have our full control panel to do exterior awnings, water heater, slide outs, uh, gen. This does have the onboard generator uh, with the fuel station. Um, heated uh, heat pads on the tanks. Uh, a little closet area to hang the coat when we come in. Side aisle uh, bath, and then when we go into the bathroom, this already has a washer and dryer, two-piece stack, porcelain toilet, little cubbyhole closet for the linens above, uh, power fan here with adjustable speed, nice vanity, storage below and above, nice walk-in shower. Pocket door, close it up for privacy. Very nice with a built-in lock. Then we get into the bedroom. We come on into the bedroom. This is going to be a king-size bed. Little tables, uh, end tables on each side with a storage. Above cabinetry in the bed. Uh, individual lighting with dimmer switch. Plug-ins and USBs on both sides of the bed. Um, windows on each side for uh, if we want to open them up and get the breeze. And then we get into the closet area here. That's a nice big double door, cedar lined. Notice there is no step on the front side forward of the bed. So it's a flat bedroom floor all the way to the closet. Cedar lined, shelves in the closet lit, uh, removable clothes rods, and then we have a plug-in area down below here with another bank of shelves too. Great area that plug-in is works great if we have a rechargeable vacuum cleaner. Works nice in there, perfect little setup. Storage underneath the bed if we lift up. A full bank of eight drawers here in the vanity. Little area here for the uh, Sony DVD player. And then our TV here is going to be our stereo and TV all of one in the bedroom, as well as the front living room TV is going to be a smart TV. This is going to be an entertainment TV with uh, music and TV all in one. As we go outside here, show you the exterior beauty of this model. I really like the colors. Full paint. Great big basement, big thick baggage doors so when this is heated in the winter time, um, we can rely on our stuff staying dry and not getting cold and moisture because of the heated basement as well as the thick baggage doors. Easy access to plumbing <laughs> there behind the door. Spare tire mounted with a carrier right below here. So if we're traveling 
It's not under the back end. It's, you can access it from the side just below the doorway. Six-point auto leveling system. And you'll notice when we look at the Mobile Suites products of all, uh, the jacks are out at an angle instead of being straight up and down. A lot more sturdy in the high winds uh, with the way the jacks are going to support this unit in high winds. It's going to be very solid. Uh, three axle, disc brakes on all, H-rated tires. They are a Goodyear tire. Um, you can see here if we look underneath, when I talk about in the various videos that I do for the mobile suites is the 2x3, 2x6, then 2x6 on top. So we have 2x15, three-piece individual uh, framework for the foundation. And we talk about good quality stuff in the RV industry. This starts from the foundation up with a very solid frame. I don't know of a frame out there that's going to be more solid, more supportive than this frame here. Exterior speakers here from the uh, garage area. The garage is going to have its own 12 volt system uh, so we can play the music out the back uh, through that separate system. Another full power awning with the LED light. The patio kit out back and this is going to have the zero gravity door so it is uh, almost weightless when we drop it and put it up along with the uh, 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 awning above and the loading docking lights. We have the rear gate and then there would be inside stored away is a step area, more ride step that comes up here to allow us to access from the back end into the back way here without going through one of the side doors. So again, all the versatility that this unit's gonna have just makes it super nice. Got a little lock there so the dogs or the small kids can't open the door if they're not supposed to. Ladder. To access the roof, I always like the phrase that the ladder is basically there to access the roof for maintenance. We don't want to go up there and worry about having a rock in our soul, getting up on the roof, puncture and putting a hole in the roof line. We don't want to do that. Um, the uh, power cord reel, fuel station independent individual. So you have your main fuel tank for the generator and the other fuel tank here is for your pump station. That's going to have our 12 volt pump so we can power our machines, put our fuel in and not have to pack around gas tanks. It's all built in. Again, stand back and look at those colors. It just, it's beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. Um, we're going to have the uh, Truma Aqua Hot tankless water heater. All of our access points outside our drain tank here, our uh, pole gates inside with our water valve and our uh, tank flush systems. Everything comes up through the bottom so we can camp with the door closed and make it nice and sanitary looking. Again, the off door baggage door side coming in. I always like to point out because this is something that I don't know anybody else that does. We do have a copper water manifold system for the full house, as well as, like I said earlier, the full water, uh, full house water filter. Um, and then our heat system that blows heat ducts directly on our water system for our cold weather camping or living. Then our two pull out tray, 40 pound bottles. Uh, so you're gonna get a long lasting, uh, value from your large propane tanks because they are larger than most um, and the generator runs off the fuel not propane so just going to make the propane last longer two-piece molded cap front fifth wheel area so from here down is a one-piece molded cap we're not going to have any phylon sag underneath here that you see a lot of them do because it's a molded cap. And then the one piece end cap molded in, all constructed together with the uh, Moor Ride pin box. 
and our new LED lights up front. This does have the 5,500 watt generator. And then we have our battery station and hydraulics uh, tank, battery disconnect, our power inverter for the refrigerator, all right there in one easy compartment. That about wraps it up here on a quick tour of our JX450 here in stock in Junction City, Oregon. Again, my name is Clay Thompson with Bish's RV. You can reach me direct at 541-979-1770. Please call me if you have any questions with the DRV products, whether it be the full house or the mobile suites. Love to talk to you about it. Hopefully we can find the right thing that's going to work for you. Thank you and have a great day.